What to know about Chronobacter? It is previously known as Enterobacter and is recognized as an opportunistic pathogenic bacteria causing life-threatening infections in neonates, infants, and immune-compromised adults. They can live in very dry places and dry foods. Chronobacter infections are rare, but they can be deadly. Chronobacter is named after the Greek god Kronos, who swallowed each of his children as soon as they were born, and the new Latin masculine word bacter means a rod. Thus, in general, Chronobacter means a rod that can cause illness in neonates. Generally, Chronobacter gain entrance to the human body through the gastrointestinal tract, where they may cause intestinal tissue damage and death or medically known as necrotizing enterocolitis. Once the bacteria enter the body's blood circulation, they will go towards the central nervous system, increasing the probability to cause inflammation of the brain and spinal cord membranes, and bacterial blood infection. Sickness usually starts with fever, poor appetite, very low energy, some may have seizures, stomach pain, and vomiting. Chronobacter is said to grow and survive in dry places and food. Some reported sources of this bacterium are powdered infant formula or powdered milk, herbal teas, starches, sewer water, or milk factory equipment. Chronobacter infection can be confirmed by testing blood sample and cerebrospinal fluid. This can be done by performing phlebotomy and spinal tap or lumbar puncture. In order to detect Chronobacter, laboratory procedures and methods are necessary. Chronobacter species are generally isolated and identified by microbiological culture method, PCR or polymerase chain reaction, or ELISA or enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. These methods are generally being used in detecting Chronobacter for both food source and human samples. Microbiological culture is a method of multiplying bacteria by the use of a culture media under a controlled laboratory conditions. This method can be done by streaking the identified sample to a culture media and then incubating the media to a specified condition to obtain bacterial growth. Usually, it takes 2 to 5 days to obtain results including the confirmatory tests. Polymerase chain reaction is a technique used to amplify or make many copies of a specific target region of DNA. It is done by mixing all the specified components from the commercially available kits into a microtube, and then the microtube will be placed in a machine for testing. Performing these tests normally takes time. ELISA is a test that detects and measures antibodies that are present in a particular sample. Kits for these tests are commercially available. The defined step-by-step -step procedure according to the manufacturer's instruction will be carefully done to obtain reliable results, which is color change. Automated machines with ELISA principle are also available where specified samples will just be placed in the machine and graphical results will be obtained within minutes' time. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention made guidelines to protect babies from Chronobacter, and these are breastfeeding, clean, sanitize, and store feeding items and breast pump safely, use liquid formula when possible, prepare powdered infant formula safely, and practice proper hygiene at all times. To treat Chronobacter infection, Bacteria-fighting medicine or antibiotic is required. Chronobacter infection can cause death rapidly if not treated quickly. Created using Powtoon.